Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go through how to reflect the triangle ABC over the line reflection R. For this you're going to need a compass and a straight edge. So the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to use the perpendicular line through a point construction. So we're going to take our compass, we're going to put it on a point on the original figure, and we're going to swing an arc that intersects the line of reflection in two places. And it's important that it hits in two places, and you also want those two places to be you know, spaced well enough apart that you can actually do a bisector construction after that. So when I find my two points of intersection, so I'm going to call these guys D and E, I'm then going to use my compass, I'm going to bisect the segment. So I set it to bigger than halfway, draw an arc, go over to the other endpoint, and draw another arc of equal measure. Where my two arcs meet, I get my straight edge out, connect the two, and it should pass right through my original point and it is at 90 degrees to the line of reflection. Because remember, a reflection is when all points of a figure move at 90 degrees to the line of reflection and then an equal distance on both sides of the line of reflection. So that's the second part of this. We need to now get A to A prime and the distance from the line reflection to A needs to be marked on the other side. So I'm gonna use my compass for this. Point of intersection of the line we just drew and the distance to A, we're gonna swing it on the other side. And that is the location of A prime. A second method we can do now is, since every point has to move perpendicular to the line reflection, they're all going to be parallel to one another. So if you think back to our translation construction, we can now use the set square method to find that second and third um, lines to move points B and C. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a straight edge out. I'm gonna line up my set square with the line I drew. So I know this one is 90 degrees to the line reflection. I'm gonna move over to B, let go of my transversal and mark in my line reflection. Get that transversal back in there again and get to C and mark in that line reflection. Final step, compass out, and we're going to make sure that we mark the same distance from B to the line reflection as the line reflection to B prime. And then same with C. So C to the line reflection and then same on the other side. And you could use a ruler for that, but a compass is really what you should be using if you want to try and preserve the exact measure. Mark in my prime points, and then finish off the construction. So then what we should have is the same figure, so it is a rigid motion, so all line segments, that are corresponding should be the same length. So B prime, C prime is the same as B, C, A, B is the same as A prime, B prime, and so on. Every point has moved at 90 degrees to the line of reflection, and we have also moved the same distance across the line of reflection. So putting those markings in is definitely something that I wanna see in your constructions.